Hello there, welcome back to Life at Charlie's Rainbow Ranch. Today we are going to be looking at replicating or propagating this starfish sansevieria plant. As you can see, we have essentially two full plants in this one um, planter. So we are going to take this smaller doodad and move it to its own pot and basically propagate it so it can uh, start its own growing process. So. What we'll need today is about four to eight ounces worth of water um, to water the soil once we get it planted. We've got an empty flower pot, or will be an empty flower pot. We've got to move some of the soil around. Um, and then we've got our plant. So we're going to start off by uh, covering up our workspace. We don't want to make too much of a mess if we can avoid it. Next, we're going to go ahead and pour out the plant and try to get to the root ball underneath. Try to be as gentle as possible so we're not disturbing the roots any more than we have to. Actually, before we do that, also going to need a knife. break away a little bit of the soil. There we go. All right. So we'll break up a lot of the dry dirt around the outside to get to the root ball if we can. This seems pretty dry. That's okay because these guys don't need a whole lot of water. All right, we're starting to get to some of the roots, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful here. All right. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's essentially connected just here at the bottom. So we're going to try to um, separate this um, chunk of the starfish plant and try to take a little bit of the root system with it. So that way it uh, takes hold in its new home a little bit quicker. So keep kind of slowly breaking it away here Oops. All right, so we're almost done. I think we're getting to the, there we go. So you can see most of the roots here. You got a one deep, deep one here. All right. So we got a couple roots down here on this side, and then it looks like we got some down in here. So very carefully, we're gonna cut the smaller piece off. Try to get a little bit, there we go. Cut it down at an angle, take some of the roots with it. Okay. So now we've separated the two. Put as much of this original dirt back into the pot as we can. Oops, looks like a big root came off there. Hopefully that's not too devastating for it. I'm mix some of the even drier dirt that I had in my other plant here, just sitting around. Mix it with some of the dirt that was already in it. And 
And again, these plants don't need a whole lot of water. Um, so it's okay if it drains out quite a bit and you can kind of loosely toss the soil in there. It doesn't have to be too compact. Okay. So take our original piece, gently put it back in. And then we don't want to pack in the roots too tight for fear of breaking them off. I've already uh, disrupted it as much as I want to. Pressing down a little bit just to keep it upright. Again, trying to be sensitive of the roots underneath. Okay. And so for now, we'll set the original plant off to the side. And this one's already got a lot of soil in it, so we'll take this potted plant or pot dig a little hole for our new guy. So we need a little bit deeper one. This guy's roots go a little bit further. And that looks about right. And then we'll pile in the rest of the soil around it. Pack it a little bit more. It's a little wobbly yet. Hopefully this will uh, settle a bit more as, as we get it watered. All right. And there we have it. We took one Sansevieria starfish plant and now we have two. Uh, these plants actually make really good indoor plants. They are very low maintenance. So if you are prone to killing plants, uh, these ones are pretty hard to kill. All you have to do is water it about, I do between four and eight ounces um, every week and that's it. Um, I think they're typically d uh, desert dwelling plants so they don't require a whole lot of water. Um, so we'll go ahead and just give these guys a little bit, hopefully to just get the uh, roots to expand out a little bit. And there you have it. We have successfully propagated our Sansevieria plant. Uh, tune in here in a couple months and we'll check on these and see if, uh, see if they're still alive. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Life at Charlie's Rainbow Ranch. See you guys next time.